Hey guys, welcome back. Luca here, and today I want to talk about why you are having issue finding that first entry level jobs. There are many. The first thing I want to talk about is definitely do you have enough relevant experiences? When you're applying for a job, a lot of times you want to meet pretty much almost all of the basic requirements. And when you're applying for that first entry level jobs, you want to make sure you're applying for the job that's looking for entry level. Because sometimes when they phrase entry level, they're looking for people with experience, three plus years of experiences. Those aren't really entry levels and they're more so mid level. And if you don't have uh, experience already, then they're probably just not going to consider you as much if other candidates are three plus years of experiences. So you want to make sure you're looking for the right job and make sure you have the relevant experiences. The second thing you want to consider is your resume. Are your resume formatted in a way that showcase how much skill and or how much experience you already have? Does your resume make the recruiter think like, oh, this is the candidate that I want to hire for this role? I made a lot of resume videos on this, so make sure to check them out. But here are a few things that I think it could potentially help you. Make sure to put the technology skill that you know. So for example, if, you're, if the job is looking for Java, make sure you have Java as a language that you are very comfortable with. And another thing I want to say is, a lot of time when you apply for jobs online, it's very easy to just use the same resume over and over. Maybe sometime you can consider if this is a job that you really care about. Try to modify your resume a little bit. For example, if the job description is asking for four basic requirements, you want to make sure your resume actually touches those four requirements. And this way it increases your chance to be the candidate that they might want to talk to. The third thing I want to talk about is, are you applying to enough jobs? Quantity isn't everything, but sometimes you need to make sure that you are applying to enough jobs. I would say don't be discouraged and always try to apply to as many jobs as possible. Just have a constant list of the company that you are interested in working for. Or just simply do a Google search and search for entry-level software engineering roles and try to apply for those that require no prior experiences. Those are a very good starting point. Moving forward, there are a few things that you can do to set yourself apart. For example, do you have relevant experiences? If you have already re relevant experiences, then that's something that's that, that help you stand out against other candidates. And if you don't, then don't worry. There are ways to build it. For example, personal projects. If you have some sort of personal portfolios, then that would be a great way to showcase. Show you a few projects that's beginner friendly and that you can get work on. For example, find, build some sort of API using Google Map that will find you the closest Chipotle, for example, or replace Chipotle with the restaurant that you want. It's just a way for you to practice these skills and try to use these API services that's really popular. Another one, for example, how do you host something using AWS? All these are very good ways for you to improve and then practice your skill that demonstrated to the recruiter. Another way, it's bootcamp. There are so many different bootcamps out there that teaches you how to build full stack application from the back end all the way to the front end. So this is a really good way to build your personal project portfolios for a way that you can showcase to the future recruiters. Another way is try to have more connections. A best way to make connections is by actually attending hackathons or conferences where the companies are there. And a lot of the times when they are at a hackathon or conferences, they are collecting resume and looking to hire a few candidates or interview a few candidates at those events. So I would say definitely take advantage of hackathons and conferences if you can't find any. And I know a lot of times these things are mostly targeted for undergrad, meaning people still in college, but there are so many out there that's open to professionals or people outside the college. So make sure to look for those. In conclusion, so in this video, it's more so about if you have been applying to entry level jobs, but you're not hearing back from them. It's not necessarily about, oh, you got the interview, but you're not passing it. But that's something that we still have to consider. Maybe that's something that you need to practice on to get that first entry level jobs. Maybe you're someone who, who is consistently getting interview, but failed to pass the interview round. Don't worry, I'm here to help. I have made a few videos on it that I want to quickly touch on is the green book is suffering your best friend. So cracking the code interview. If you can master all the concepts in that book, I would say you have significantly higher chance of succeeding at an interview than other candidates who doesn't know anything about these algorithms, these data structures. And of course, after knowing all these concepts, it's all about practicing. 
the green book already offer you a bunch of questions after each topic points so i would say you can start off there and another thing to do is definitely practice legal questions there are so many legal questions out there that allow you to really practice this so if you're someone who is hearing back from the interview but fail to pass the interview round i would say definitely practice more and trying to come up with a study plan what went wrong during the last round of interview was it the behavior part or was it more so the technical part if it was a technical part what didn't you know was it about array was it about hash map was it some sort of algorithm graph algorithm problems or was it something else recursion for example try to write those down and really practice them and learn from the pri prior interview experiences and try to build on it this is the best way for you to succeed so yeah guys I hope this video was helpful. So in summary, I want to say make sure you have relevant experiences and relevant skill set when you apply into those jobs. Make sure you actually align to what they're looking for. Especially for an entry level role, they are more lenient. So you try you make sure wanna so you want to make sure you're applying to the ones without any prior experiences. And try to make sure your resume is as up to date as possible, including a lot of technical projects, personal projects relevant experiences once again and if you don't have any of those try to build them try to look around conferences hackathons try to maybe even attend a boot camp or take some college classes on computer science programming and then once you get all of them ready you will most likely expect to get a lot of interviews then at that point it's just practice try to make sure you are actually aware and knowledgeable in these fields so yeah guys that's pretty much it and if you want to learn more about how to make your resume effectively, how to use the green book, make sure to check out my other videos. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.